I was actually working here. Um, I was stationed at Station 6, but for some reason we were up here at the old Station 1. Um, was not aware when the first plane hit, somebody came upstairs and said, hey, a plane just hit World Trade Center. Or, or twin, yeah, so. Um, so we all ran downstairs and turned the TV on. And uh, while we were watching the uh, second plane hit, so, you know, the first time we were just, we thought it might have been an accident or whatever with the first plane. But when the second plane hit, um, that's when I, we kind of knew, our, and I kind of knew that it was more than just an accident. And we hadn't even yet heard about the plane that uh, was headed toward the Pentagon or the one that crashed in the field. So those two kind of solidified everything for us. I know it's cliche, but that, that's the job. I, I don't think at the time those guys were thinking anything less than they're doing the job. I mean, they've responded to that building hundreds of times. You know, um, they've had, you know, before we had the prior bombing there that wasn't as successful, uh, though a prior attack. So they, they've responded there hundreds of times. So I, I don't think it was any different in their minds as any other emergency other than a plane had, had hit the building, of course. But, you know, I think their main concern was trying to get people out and uh, get them to safety. And that's why they did what they did. That's why all of us do what we do. For months, you know, yeah, I mean, it was, you could be out in the, out and about, you know, uh, working and people would honk their horn and stop. You'd go out to lunch and, you know, you'd find out somebody paid for your lunch, um, come up to you and, you know, it just, it, it was. I mean, we, we, we joked sometimes, man, we were heroes for two months and then it went back to normal, but actually it was long, longer than that, you know, and uh, I, I think that as as far as America is concerned, I think we they've always had a healthy respect for first responders, you know, fire, police, EMS, um, that just kind of um, brought us together. We, we seem to do better when we're under attack. We seem to come together better when we're under attack. You know, so um, it was unfortunate circumstances, but that's really not why most of us do the job. You know, it's, it's I think it becomes part of who you are. Just remember that there are people out there every day on the job that get up every day not knowing what they're going to face uh, on a daily basis. There are families that watch their loved ones walk out the door every day and they're, they don't know if that's the last time they're going to see them. You know, so um, it's, I think it, it should be a day of, of remembrance to show people that those lives weren't lost in vain. Um, a day to show that America can come together um, and a day just just to remember how precious life is and 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 how um, how great our country is uh, and show that we can come together I think it's an opportunity to just remind ourselves of uh, what a tremendous impact that day had just on America I mean it just changed the whole whole history and trajectory of our country but we just need to remember that um, I, I just don't want us to wait to another attack to come together. Just remember we're still all Americans. We're still the melting pot. You know, we're still a young, young country um, uh, compared to the rest of the world. Uh, we do have some growing pains, but we can still come together when we need to. <laughs>